Um, good morning. Thank you so much for joining Novagene's Genomic Research Live. My name is Chen Yu from Novagene AMEA. It is with great pleasure to invite you to our Genomic Research Live session on behalf of the Novagene team. The COVID-19 pandemic has led to significant changes in the way people work and communicate with each other. That is why we welcome you to join the Genomic Research Live, which is an online platform facilitated by Novagene. This platform provides a professional and borderless online sharing experience for life science scientists around the world. This session also provides a symposium for global leaders within the scientific, clinical, and business spaces to showcase their advances and progress in their corresponding fields. This aligns strongly with Novogene's mission to advance the field of genomics through knowledge sharing and cooperation. Today, it is with our great privilege to introduce Dr. Ray Jun, a lecturer at Nanjing Medical University. Uh, Dr. Jen went to the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences in the USA as a visiting scholar. Her research focus in, uh, includes environmental factors, genetics, exosomes, and disease susceptibility. Today, Dr. Jen will speak about her work focusing on how fine particulate matter induces asthma attacks via the extracellular vesicle, EB. Package led 7i 5p module mediated modulation of the MAP kinase signaling pathway. Fine particulate matter less than 2.5 nanometers in diameter is a major risk factor for inducing acute asthma attacks in children. Previous research has shown that PM2.5 exposure regulated microRNA expression, which are notable biomarkers for asthma in, in extracellular package. Uh, extra Cellular vesicle package cargoes are studies in intercellular communications. Her research is crucial as it reveals the mechanism of P packaged microRNA regulated cell to cell communication from PN2.5 treated human bronchial epithelial cells through recipient cells to induce asthma. Her research also opened a new avenue for diagnostic strategy and therapeutic approach for asthma in children exposed to high levels of PN2.5. Let's listen together to how. Dr. Jin discovered this crucial mechanism. Um, this webinar will be an hour long. If you have questions during the presentation, please leave your questions in a Q&A below. We will raise your questions to Dr. Jin after her presentation. If we don't have enough time to answer all, your, all of your questions, we will get back to you through email after this webinar. An on-demand version of the slides and recording will be provided after the webinar. Hope that you all enjoy. Uh, please welcome Dr. Jen. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Yi. Um, I'm Ri Jun, a lecturer of Nanjing Medical University. It is my honor to have this opportunity to share my work on childhood asthma. And, uh, film, and my topic today is fair particular matter means PM2.5 induces childhood asthma attacks while extracellular vesicle package light 7i 5 p.m. mediated mutilation uh, of the MAPK signaling pathway. Okay. Okay. Uh, first of all, let's have a quick look at uh, epidemiology of childhood asthma. And as we all know, childhood asthma is a common chronic uh, respiratory disease characterized by airway hyperresponsiveness, airway inflammation, and uh, reversible airway remodeling, and so on. And you can see this picture uh, globally. Asthma remains a serious health problem that affects 358 million individuals, especially among children. And asthma in attacks in children led to reversible and repeat attacks of uh, coughing, within shortage of breath, chest tightness, and so on. Oh, sorry. So as we all know, uh, children at the stage of the growth and the development. So they are the sensitive people in, uh, in the world. So children will face more exposure to air pollutions. And uh, in uh, to date, 
air brown fire particulate matter less than 2.5 micrometer in diameter. It means the PM 2.5 has, has been considered a crucial type of allergen causing acute asthma attacks in children. So uh, PM 2.5 has become a urgent environmental and uh, public health uh, issue in low and uh, middle income countries, including China. And you can see this picture. Um, this is in December, this is in our school, and the concentration of the PM 2.5 uh, was 100, 172, and this is in May, the concentration of the PM 2.5 is uh, 20, 25, so you can see, survey smoke events uh, accompanied by extreme high concentration of PM 2.5 has emerged frequency in China. So the potential health risk have attracted ever growing attention in our country. And the, uh, to terms of the association between the PM 2.5 and the asthma, uh, previous study have reported that uh, there are two airway cell types uh, ultimately uh, responsible for asthma attacks. Uh, the first one you can see uh, in here, human bronchial epithelial cells, uh, we can call it uh, HB cells, uh, which, form the, which form the first barrier between the external environment, such as uh, PM 2.5, PM 2.10, and so on. And the internal brokers, uh, brokers and the merger target of inhaled particles, uh, such as PM 2.5, so, and the next uh, cell type is um, human bronchial small muscle cells. Uh, we call it HBSMC. It can it located below HB cells, which are the main effectors of a uh, bronchial contraction, and whose excessive contraction induces airway hyperresponsiveness. So, um, emerging studies have shown that various uh, stimuli uh, such as air pollution, allergens, and so on, stimulate H, uh, HB cells to recruit uh, effect T cells and uh, trigger TH2 cytokine secretion, which uh, affects both HB cells and uh, HBSMCs, while a uh, uh, feedback loop and further in due cases, uh, cytotoxicity in HB cells and the HBSMC's contractility. And then to date, the complex uh, mechanism of asthma attacks, especially in the intercellular communication between the HB cells and the HBSMC's, it remains unclear. So what is uh, uh, EVs? Its extracellular vesicle uh, has been regarded as important messengers in intercellular communication. And you can see this, EVs transfer uh, many cargoes, such as uh, nucleus, uh, non-coding RNA, uh, lips, uh, lips, and uh, proteins, and so on. From the parent, uh, parent cells to recipe cells, thereby uh, modulating the biological functions of the recipe cells. So uh, there are many cargoes uh, derived by EVs. Uh, Micron is one of the important cargoes. So emerging studies have noted that microns are considered novel tools to investigate the uh, uh, phytologic mechanism and the biomarkers for asthma. And the previous study have reported that PM 2.5 exploring re regulate microRNA expression profiles in every cells. So you can see that microns are, um, we all know the small non-coding RNA is with the capacity of the modeling uh, gene expressions as a post-transcriptional levels either by inhibiting the messenger RNA's translation or by promoting mRNA degradation. So it, uh, as we all know, yeah. So uh, EV package macros may function as an important extracellular messages in the PM 2.5 stimulate airway uh, microenvironments. But uh, however, 
the role of the EV package uh, macrons in PM2.5 induced childhood asthma remains unknown. So it's based on previous studies and uh, our hypothesis is PM2.5 trait H uh, trait, sorry, sorry, PM2.5 trait HB cells released uh, EVs continue a brilliant experience of um, macrons and that in check on by the normal HB cells uh, in the horizontal orientation and it and HBSMCs in the longitudinal orientation, leading to the cytotoxicity and the airway hyperresponsiveness, respectively. So, uh, we first so we first performed a direct uh, PM two point five explorer assay and found that uh, PM two point five does uh, dependently decrease the viability of HB cells after explorer for different times, and uh, we can see PM two point five significantly induce uh, apoptosis and the G one or G two arrest. Uh, in the normal HB cells. And after co-culture of the normal HB cells and the PM2.5 treated HB or NC treated HB cells in a transfer plate for um, 24 hours. And we found that the culture meeting of PM2.5 treated HB cells uh, showed a stronger uh, cytotoxicity effects uh, that observed on the normal HB cells exposed to NC treated HB cells. And this result in that indicate that PM2.5 treated HB cells may secret EVs to induce cytotoxicity in HB cells. So we extract uh, EVs uh, from NC or PM2.5. PM2.5 uh, treated HB cells, and uh, we found that EVs are pretty far from the uh, cultural medians of uh, PM2.5 or uh, NC treated HB cells, uh, showed a typical uh, cap shaped and um, expressed a typical EV markers CD63, TS, uh, TSC101, and Alex, and the lactose. Uh, cellular con contaminates, uh, Calnexy, GRIP94. And we also found that uh, PM2.5 or NC uh, treated uh, EVs were taken up by the normal HB cells and PM2.5 uh, uh, HB cells. <clears throat> so uh, we found that the direct incubation with the PM2.5 EVs for uh, 24 hours markedly decreased HB cells availability, uh, promoted uh, apoptosis, and and stimulated S freezes arrest. And we also found that this uh, the above a bright cell activities was were rescued by GW uh, 4869 which is the uh, inhibition of the EV secretion. So uh, based on this observation, indicate that EV secretion by PM2.5 stimulate HB cells are uh, horizontally transcribed uh, into the normal HB cells with subsequently uh, induction the cytotoxicity. So the result one is uh, we found that. And the, uh, and the as a PM2.5 EVs may be longitudinal transcript uh, into the normal HBSMCs. So we detect the uh, contractility of these cells uh, by e evaluating the expression of three identified uh, vital uh, proteins uh, that regulate HBSMCs contractility. The first one is M SMA and uh, SMMHC and the raw A. And we uh, and we found that no difference in the in the level of the tail proteins were observed in normal normal HBSMCs after culture with the PM two point five treated HB cells, 
And, and after that, although P, uh, PKH69 labeled PM2.5 EVs were transferred into the normal HB SMCs, but uh, PM2.5 EVs did not regulate expression of the contractile proteins. So uh, this result indicates that PM2.5 explorer may function as an inducing factor rather than an uh, insulinating uh, factor of asthma uh, by causing airway have responsiveness uh, and uh, subsequently induce uh, asthma attacks. So based on um, we construct uh, established uh, sensitive HBSMC models by using IL-13 and found that and found that compared with the uh, uh, NC-treated HB cells, sensitive HBSMCs co culture with the uh, PM2.5 treated H HB cells showed a higher expression levels of the contractile pre uh, proteins. Uh, SMA, SMMTC, and the raw A. And similarly, uh, sensitive HB SMCs displayed uh, efficiency take up the PK, PKH 69 labeled uh, NC EVs or PM 2.5 EVs. And after that, sensitive HB SMCs showed an uh, increased uh, expression of country. Con contractile proteins after treat with the PM2.5 EVs and the GW4869 uh, as we about its uh, inhibition of the uh, EV secretion. And we found that uh, PM2.5 HB, uh, HB cells reduced uh, the expression levels of the contractile proteins in longitudinal recipe sensitive HB SMCs. So the result to suggest that PM 2.5s are also longitudinal uh, delivered to sensitive HB SMCs, enhancing their contractility. And uh, based on uh, above the results, we want to uh, explore the uh, epigenetic regulation of the PM2.5 induced childhood asthma. So we extract uh, uh, EVs as, uh, from the asthma in children and the preferred RNA sequencing on EV package macros in plasma samples from, child, uh, from children and the PM2.5 or untreated HB cells. It means based on the cell model and the plasma uh, of the children. And we identified 12 overlapping EV packet macros in the cell models and the plasma from children. And among which the most abundant EV packet macros is a letter 7 i 5 p and after that, consistent with the RNA sequencing result, uh, the level of the EV package light semi p was, uh, 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 was um, significantly uh, higher than the NC EVs. And uh, to further uh, explore the exciting patterns of the extracellular light semi p uh, by treating cells with the RNA and the treating and the treating and the GW4869. Uh, GW, uh, and we found that the level of the light 75 p in the uh, culture median of the PM2.5 treated HB cells did not change after RNA, which is uh, a degre uh, degraded uh, RNA treatment, but uh, decreased markedly when RNA and the treating X were, were ended and the treating X could uh, break the mem uh, cell membranes. So, Additionally, even addition uh, inhibition expressed uh, showed that the level of the light semi p in the culture median of the PM2.5 treated HB cells were significantly reduced after treat with the GW4869. So this result suggests that 
extracellular like semi 5 p is mainly encapsul encapsulated in EVs instead of the direct uh, secreted um, by NC or PM2.5 treated HB cells. So we further uh, investigate the association uh, of the EV packet like semi 5 p in childhood asthma and the PM2.5 explorer based on uh, 55 patients and uh, 55 healthy controls. And, uh, as we can see at uh, this table, compared with a uh, healthy country, uh, children with the asthma has had the significantly higher plasma total IgE levels and were exposed uh, to higher levels of PM2.5. And we also found that the EV package like semi-5P uh, in plasma, um, the expression was uh, were the, the expression of the large semi-5P remained stable after different uh, for the soil cycles and the room temperature incubation periods. Uh, it means that uh, the EV package like semi-5P was stable in this uh, extreme condition. So it's important uh, to detect in the plasma. So based on these results, we detect the uh, expression of the light semi 5 p in plasma, plasma in EVs. And we found that EV package light semi 5 p uh, was uh, upregulated in childhood asthma and then in healthy control. And the EV package like semi 5 p um, showed a higher capacity to this uh, is a blue line, uh, a higher capacity to discriminate children with the uh, asthma from the healthy controls uh, with AUC of the uh, 0.785. And the AUC of the combination of the IgE, uh, it means the um, green line, and the EV package light semi 5 p was increased to the uh, 0 0.855. And we also found that a uh, correction analysis revealed that EV package light semi 5 p levels uh, showed a significantly pause positive correction with a PM25 explorer in children with asthma, but not in healthy controls. So, this uh, observation in individuals implies that plasma levels of EV packet like semi 5 p may be a biomarker for PM2.5 induced asthma in children. And after that, uh, we, we want to ex uh, explore the, um, the biological significance of EV packet like semi 5 p uh, in HB cells and in sensitive HB SMCs. So we first transfected the light semi 5 p mimics into the recipe cells. Uh, in the first one is the uh, uh, HB cells, and we we found that uh, light semi 5 p over expressions reduced HB cells growth and induced an increase in the apoptosis rate of HB cells and the promoted as phase arrest. And in the sensitive HB SMCs, we also found that light semi 5 p in over expressions markedly increase the expression of contract, uh, contractile proteins, SMA, SMMTC, and the role A in sensitive HB SMCs. So after we detect the explore uh, the detect the biological uh, role of the light semi 5 p, and uh, after that we co cultured HB cells transfected with C13 labeled the light semi 5 p mimics and with the uh, recipe cells HB cells and the sensitive HB SMCs. And we found that the, uh, the red fluoride of the label like semi 5 p in both normal HB cells and the sensitive HB SMCs. 
uh, indicate that the EV package like 75P was taken up to by recipe itself. So we detect the level of the light seven uh seven i five p after incubating the recipe cell recipe cells with EVs, and we found that the cellular light seven i five p levels was increased upon incubation with the uh, PM two point five EVs, but not uh, upon incubation with the NC EVs or direct exploring the PM2.5 in both the two recipe cells uh, in normal HB cells. And uh, we also found the same effect on the sensitive HB SMCs. So these findings indicate that uh, the enriched uh, light 7 i 5 p in recipe cells is mainly trans uh, transport by PM2.5 events. So we further examine the biological effect of EV package light 7 f 5 p on recipe uh, HB cells and uh, HB SMCs. And we found that uh, the effect of PM2.5 EV on enhancing uh, cytotoxicity in HB cells uh, and or increasing the contractility of the sensitive HB SMCs. Well, let them I5P was overexpressed in recipe cells, means uh, overexpressed in normal HB cells and the sensitive HB SMCs and trans uh, in recipe cell. And after that, uh, incubated with uh, PM2.5 uh, treated EVs, and um, it uh, showed a, um, a more obviously uh, effect. And after that, the effect of EV, uh, PM2.5 EVs on enhancing cytotoxicity in HB cells or increase the contractility of the sensitive HB SMCs were blocked. You can say it was blocked when let them I5P within the PM2.5 treated HB cells were uh, antagonized by the let them I5P inhibitors. So these two experiments and the above the results indicate that EV package let them I5P released by PM2.5 treated HB cells induce uh, the cytotoxicity in horizontal recipe the normal HB cells and increase the contractility of the longitudinal uh, recipe the sensitive HB SMCs. Okay, uh, after that, we uh, in the in parent cells, we want to investigate the mechanism of by which let semi p is located into EVs. It means uh, we want to uh, explore how the light semi p uh, is located in EVs. So we use the database of the RBPDB. Uh, is a is a website and to predict uh, the specific interaction between the light semi five p and the RBPs by the motif, and uh, after that we found that ELAVL one a well known defined RBP for sorting macrons into EVs, and the co localization of light semi five p and ELAVL one in the cytoplasm of the HB cells. Um, besides, we also use the RIP assay and found that a more obvious interaction uh, between the less than I5P and the ELAVL1 in PM2.5 treated HB cells than in NC treated HB cells. Besides that, we also found that ELA, ELAVL1 were significantly upregulated in PM2.5 treated HB cells. And the ELAV and the EV package at 75P levels were significantly reduced in 
in cells in HB cells with the EL EL EL1 knockdown. So uh, these findings suggest that ELAVL1 is responsible for the specific loading of the light semi-FRP into uh, EUH. And after that, in the uh, in the re re recipe cells, means the, in the in normal HB cells and the sensitive HB SMCs, we want to uh, explore the downstream uh, mechanism of the EV package light semi-FRP. So we used uh, uh, three target prediction software uh, programs and performed an uh, overlapped analysis to identify the 169 targets of the light semi-5P. And after that, the KEGG pathway enrichment analysis uh, revealed that the some biological pathway involved in cellular activities, uh, of which MAPK signaling pathway is a, a famous pathway in a multiple disease. And the previous study have shown that MAPK signaling pathway was previously found to be functionally re related to asthma. And among eight candidate targets in our study, and a key DUSP1, a key inhibitor, directly in activists GNK, ERK, and uh, P38, where the uh, default fluorylation. So uh, we, we selected DUSP1 as a downstream less than PM target gene. So we first uh, uh, found that let semi 5 p overexpressions uh, significantly increase the uh, first floor relation of the GNK. You can see here GNK, ERK, and uh, P38 in normal HB cells and both in uh, normal, HB, normal HB cells and sensitive HB SMCs. Similar to treat with the EV pack led semi FRP, it means uh, PM2.5 EVs uh, derived from the PM2.5 trick HB cells. And we also found that there's uh, similar effects, you can see. Yeah. And the light semi FRP, uh, P, uh, let semi P over expression. Our treat with the EV package like semi 5 p is I mean the PM2.5 EVs released by released by PM2.5 treated HB cells and uh, significantly inhibited DOSP1 expression in both normal HB cells and the sensitive HB SMCs. And uh, uh, for the Luciferous report assays show that uh, let them I5P significantly reduce the uh, luciferous activity of the well type of DOSP1 uh, reporter, both in normal HB cells and the sensitive HB SFC. And the DOSP1 knockdown in uh, the two recipe cells uh, led to the Pretend activation of the MAPK signaling pathway. You can see it's active the philosophy of the JNK, ERK, and uh, P38. P, uh, so uh, when, when we knocked down the DUSP1, and we found that DUSP1 knocked down induced the cytotoxicity in HB cells and the incre uh, increase the uh, contractility of the sensitive HB SMCs. So this above, above the uh, findings imply that the EV package like semi 5 p derived from the PM2.5 treated HB cells may inhibit DOSP1 expression uh, and to increase uh, the philosophy of the philosophy relation of the gene K ER, sorry, gene K ERK and the P38, thereby uh, activating the MAPK signaling pathway. 
and induced uh, asthma attacks through both horizontal uh, and uh, longitudinal mechanism. And we detect the uh, bio biological effect of the EV package like SEM-FIP, uh, both in individuals and the sales models. So we work, uh, we verify the effect uh, in vivo, and uh, we perform setting two juvenile mice were divided into the four groups. The group uh, the group one is OVA. OVA could induce the asthma uh, model, and the group two is OVA plus PM two point five, and the group three is OVA plus PM two point five and plus and the EVs and the group four is OVA plus PM two point five and the plus uh seven uh light semi five P EVs and we subject the mice you can see it you can see here the mice to the indicated treat treated uh treated to I see the role of uh EV package like semi five P in PM two point PM two point five induced asthma in vivo and the uh, after that, we found that treated with the PM 2.5 or PM 2.5 like semi 5 p EVs significantly increase. You can see the uh, red line and the yellow line uh, increase the uh, bronchial constrictions and increase the level of the three contractile proteins, uh, in SMA, SMHC, and rho A. And we also found that treated with PM 2.5 and uh, PM, uh, PM light semi 5 p uh, EVs uh, significantly are upregulated in EV package light semi 5 p in BALF and reduce the DOSP uh, MRE in BALF and damage the uh, lung lung tissues and after that this effect was accompanied by USP1 down regulation and uh, elevated elev 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 in latent semi-5p in lung tissues. And after that the, the levels of the philosophy relate JNK, ERK and uh, P38 were in a increase you can say in PM 2.5 group and the less than 5 p uh, EVs group and the uh, IL6 is a central coin is one of the central coin cons cons uh, concentration in BALF was uh, significantly increased uh, by the same treat. Oh, it means a uh, in the PM 2.5 group and the less than 5 p EVs group. And the, the, this result further confirming the establishment of the mouse model of OVA induced uh, asthma. So the, in, the involved uh, results uh, observation, uh, in, the result of the involved uh, described above the highlight that EV package like semi 5 p uh, promotes a PM 2.5 induced uh, airway contraction and uh, cytotoxicity by inhibiting its target gene uh, DUSP1. And uh, uh, in conclusions, so we first uh, conduct uh, RNA sequencing of the EV package macrons in plasma from children with asthma. It means uh, in uh, in in individuals and and the health controls and and in PM two point five or NC treated HB cells uh, models and we identified a novel macron light semi five p expressed at high levels in PM two point five uh, EVs and the plasma from children with asthma. And the last time I five P was uh, in in parent cells. It means in PM two point five treated HB cells. We found that last time I five P was packaged into EVs through an interaction with the ELA VL one, and then taken up by horizon horizontal here horizontal um recipe normal HB normal HB cells and the longitudinal uh 
recipe the sensitive HBSM6. And if it packaged, uh, let's say my 5P, uh, it could uh, insert the recipe cells and active the MAPK signaling pathway by inhibiting its target gene DUSP1 and the results in the cytotoxicity in horizontal recipe normal HB cells and uh, increase the contractility of the longitudinal recipe sensitive HBSM6. So uh, our, our funding, our results um, uh, were published on the advanced sites. And uh, stop here, I want to thank um, uh, the amazing team uh, by Zhen Dong Zhang in Nanjing Medical University and the maintenance groups in Children's Hospital of Nanjing Medical University and the Zhao Zhongzhu uh, in Harvard Medical, uh, Harvard Medical School. And uh, that's all. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Zhen, for this comprehensive and in-depth lecture. Now we will take a few questions from the audiences. Um, well, let's be wait for some questions to come in. Uh, let's start with one question that we have. Um, considering that there are already a series of classical predictors of asthma, what are the advantages of let 7 i 5 p in comparison with them? Okay, okay, thank you. Um, the advantage uh, of the EV package like semi 5 p uh, was based on the three aspects. First is, uh, you can see here. Uh, so, you can see here. Uh, so we determined the plasma EV package uh, let semi 5 p levels was po positivity uh, correct with the PM2.5 explorer in children with asthma. Indicate that the let semi 5 p is a specific predictor, uh, predictor of the PM2.5 uh, induced asthma in children. Uh, this, this effect, but not uh, in healthy controls. And second, uh, we we observe a significantly increased uh, in P, uh, in PM in EV packet like semi 5 p levels uh, produ uh, produced by PM 2.5 stimulate HB cells, and the EV package like semi 5 p performs a crucial functions in effect as uh, effectors uh, cell of asthma HB cells and the sensitive HB SMCs. So this uh, result is uh, is here. So uh, which is helpful uh, for us to both explaining the biological of me mechanism of PM two point five uh, induced asthma and the further uh, investigating the stripe field approaches. And the third, and the, you can see the ROC, the results of ROC, uh, the EV package the. Uh, like semi 5 p were stable in plasma and led to the ability to discriminate uh, children with asthma from the healthy controls with acceptable sensitivity and specificity. This uh, above the observation implies that uh, EV package like semi 5 p has the potential to serve as a specific biomarker uh, from uh, for PM 2.5 induced uh, um, childhood asthma com compared with a series of the classical predictors. That's all. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Jin, for your comprehensive uh, reply. We do have another question. And the question is, as asthma is a chronic inflammatory airway disease and, and, and many inflammatory cells are involved in in the early stages of asthma. Have you ever explored the function of let 7 i 5 p in them? Okay, thank you. Uh, this is an interesting question. And uh, in our conclusions, you can see here, wait a minute. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. And uh, in our conclusions, we we in this study we want to uh we want to detect the EV package like semi five P between the HB cells and the sensitive HB SMCs. So as the first barrier cells of the airway HB cells and the uh, ultimate effector cells of the asthma is the sensitive HB SMCs play an important role in asthma attacks. But our study mainly evaluated so the effect of EV packet lysine five P on intercellular communication between the HB cells and the sensitive HB SMCs, but not uh, focus on the inflammatory cells. Uh, but importantly, in our th stories, we also found that uh, you can see here. We also found that uh, EV packet like MR5P regulated the MAPK signaling pathway through the target gene DOSP1 in, in vivo. Uh, you can see this result is here. And the MAPK signaling pathway is the main regu regulator of the, uh, of the immunity. And, and as we all know, and, the main, and the, a lot of uh, previous studies have uh, showed that. Moreover, we also uh, reviewed the EV package like MFIP increased the uh, IL6 uh, expression level in vivo. And this observation uh, suggests that uh, EV package like MFIP uh, may also be involved in PM2.5 induced asthma uh, by uh, mediating the release of the inflammatory factors uh, such as um, IL-6, IL-13, and so on, and, uh, cyto and maybe some cytokine. So this, uh, so this, uh, this observation also uh, implies that uh, to further explore the function of lysine like FIP in inflammatory cells um, in our further study. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, is, it seems that since most of the questions have been answered, uh, today's genomic research live webinar will be coming to an end. Uh, thank you, Dr. Jen, again, and our audiences for the wonderful questions and insights. We greatly appreciate your attention and participation. And we will provide the presentation after the webinar on demand. And as always, please stay tuned for future Knowledge and Genomic Research Live webinars. And see you next time and take care. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.